All right, guys. So I made uh, some changes. There's still some problems. I still need those transitions. I'll have to make those at a later date. But I'm about to get real busy, so I'm not going to have a whole lot of uh, time to work on this. So I'm just going to go over all the updates uh, that I've done. And uh, yeah, so first, the uh, firing mechanic, uh, the left hand is synchronized with the right hand now so that it moves properly. Uh, I fixed the finger issue, so the fingers are actually in the, oops, so the fingers are actually in the right locations. Uh, I don't remember if that was a problem or not, but it seems that for some reason when I modified these in Sequencer and I saved them, the baker, it screwed something up. So there's a lot of bugs when animate making animations in an Unreal Engine right now, a lot of bugs. And so uh, one of those bugs was causing all kinds of problems. It was causing the gun to offset, it was causing the fingers to mess up. And the only thing I had to do to fix it is to open the sequence, the level sequence again, and just resave it. I, it's really weird, uh, but it has something to do with the layers too. Uh, so, you know. But let me just show you. If I go into one of these animations, for example, you can go to edit and sequence and open level sequence and it'll open the last one that I had open and it's messing up obviously because I'm playing uh, you're not supposed to do that when you're running the game so I'll do it again but yeah so it'll open up the last one that I had It actually looks like this is not properly synchronized. Oh, it is, it's probably synchronized. So that's another bug. Uh, if you just seen that, that's another bug. Uh, it happens sometimes when you first open up uh, these. So you have to scrub one frame and then scrub back and it should be fixed. So that's one thing that I fixed. Uh, the rifle fire got fixed, the finger issues on the pistol were fixed, I refactored the aim offset logic, restructured the folder hierarchy. I'll go ahead and show you that. So, um, yeah, these are DAO enums now, and under the blueprints it's DAO, and held object stuff is inside of here. Uh, enums and structs are inside of data and the layering data right here obviously and i didn't do anything with the projectile i just left it there so i had to turn some tricks to get this chooser table to move to another folder it did not want to move to another folder uh, seems to be some kind of bug uh, i fixed the aim sweep and the the way he was holding the gun, uh, for some reason, whenever I brought it in here, it got misaligned uh, from what it was. So I had to realign it. So that's what I did. I realigned it. That could partially be too, because in iClone, uh, there is no orthographic uh, camera. And orthographic camera is very important when you're trying to align things. Uh, it makes it look like a sheet of like a drawing on a sheet of paper. Basically, it makes it 2D. Uh, if you don't have orthographic, then your camera position is going to determine if it looks straight or not, even if it is or isn't. So uh, that's uh, a problem when you don't have orthographic cameras. Uh, so. I disabled the aim offset while traversing. And so now you can't turn it and play, or you can't aim while you're traversing. So I'll show you that. Wait one second. And I did uh, make 
some tweaks to the blend space so that the blend spaces would let me see i'll show you so the blend space has a smoothing time now just a very short smoothing time uh, and it's linear because i i don't want it to speed up or slow down it messes stuff up i want it to be linear um, so yeah i made that linear and it prevents it from snapping back around when it wraps around. For example, if I'm over here and I go over here, you'll see it, it quickly turns, but it doesn't snap. And that's what we want. So I fixed that. I adjusted the weight speeds. I set it to 25. Um, let's see, what else did I change in here? So this is what I changed on on this right here I set this up on an on a blend space inside of the character uh, blueprint you'll see I'm using uh, a blueprint interface to pass this on I removed some stuff that actually wasn't being used that was left behind from experimentation on the anim animation graph so some of these uh, some of those ones that were in here that I wasn't using I removed them I added interpolation to the hands. Um, so it'll interpolate slower when, when turning on, but it'll interpolate faster when turning off. Uh, that was just what I decided to do. And I'll show you what effect that has. So if I'm aiming the gun and I traverse, you'll see his hand doesn't snap back into place. His hand interpolates into place. Uh, which makes it look a lot better. And if you don't have a slow interpolation, it'll look funky. Uh, and that's the reason why I did that. So that looks a bit smoother now too. The aim offset should be more accurate now than what it was before. Uh, there is a problem uh, with the shoulder looking a little funky uh, during really extreme uh, angles and turns. And that's because of the way that I'm having to handle the arms in order to, to keep them accurate and the way that the locomotion animation is playing as I'm overlaying it. Uh, and so if we go back over to these right here, you'll see that like on the idle aiming or on the running aiming, you'll see that I'm just playing overlay on the arms and that's the reason why it's doing that. Um, I have experimented by setting this to overlay the spine. Uh, but if I set the spine to overlay, it ends up, it, it, it fixes the problem, but it ends up looking a little funky. Uh, so if maybe if we just make it really low, it'll help prevent that. Uh, so you'll see it looks a little bit better now. But the torso is going to look a little bit stiffer. Uh, and so if I set this to say 1.0, you'll see how stiff he looks. It completely fixes the problem. Uh, but he ends up looking really funky, like he's trying to maintain a correct posture the entire time or something. So you could set it to something low. In actuality, I'll probably just go ahead and do that. And you guys can turn it down if you feel like it makes it look a little too funky. But yeah, you can also experiment with that too. So I'll just leave it like that for you guys. And while this video is compiling, I will be updating uh, the download with the new version of the project. The next thing I'm probably going to do if people, uh, as soon as people stop pointing out bugs that I've uh, uh, overlooked, uh, and, and don't feel bad about pointing out bugs, guys. If you see, if you see bugs, let me know. I'll try to fix it. Uh, I'll try to make time to fix it. But as soon as I get all that stuff out of the way, then I'll start expanding this. 
I'll add transitions uh, so that he puts his gun away uh, whenever he goes to traverse. I could make it so that the, the gun stays flat against the surface. Uh, that might be one approach to it. Now also, there's this thing with the head too. Um, I, I kind of fixed it so that it's not as bad. And I'll show you what I did to fix that because the head was turning a little bit too much. And what I basically did is I just set it to overlay. Uh, so when he's running and he's turning real fast, his head will be looking in a, in a totally different direction than where he's aiming. His head will be looking off to the right, but it'll be aiming like in this direction and it just looks funky. Uh, so I put it on overlay to try to reduce that a little bit. It's kind of hard to completely reduce it without making it look fun funny. Uh, now I did try using a look at function, but I had all kinds of problems with that. So just so you guys know, um, you could do like on here, you could do, well, like on here, right here, you could do a look at function. If you want to work out uh, the logic to it, I tried, but I just didn't want to mess with it. There were there were some problems, and I was going to have to do some complex calculations, uh, and I just didn't feel like it. Anyway, this is all the time I really have for today, and I'm going to be really busy here over the coming weeks, so I'm not going to have a little, whole lot of time to work on this, uh, but I'll try to get in updates where I can. Just point out the bugs and whatnot. And then as soon as I get all these bugs out of the way, I'll start expanding the system. And I'll see you guys in the next video.